Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, the team's having lots of fun working in the Fort Greene Community Ooh. Garden. It's a great place that grows flowers and food for the neighborhood. I can't believe what you're doing with this place. I mean, it used to be nothing but garbage and weeds. Well, I couldn't have done it without everybody's help. Then, one day when Gabby was working... Uh, Rob, Rob, I, I don't... I don't Gabby? Gabby? No! It's kind of scary, because no one knows why Gabby got sick. She's sick. We don't know what's wrong. Things get even scarier, too, because other people in the neighborhood are getting sick. And that's not all. Lenny, Sally, look! Oh, man. Sick people, dead rabbits. I think we better call a rally. So, the team came up with a great plan to figure out why everyone's getting sick. A survey. We ask a lot of people the same questions, and then we write down their answers. Then we compare their answers and look for a pattern. Good idea. We've got the questions, now let's get some answers. Yeah. The team figured out what all the sick people had in common. Here's a connection. Ghost Rider's got it too. It's the garden. Let's go. And when they got to the garden... Touch your what? What does that mean? And look, Ghost Rider's onto something. Team, let's get digging. That's when they figure out something really strange. Warning. Hazardous substance. What are the weird barrels doing in the garden? And what do they have to do with everyone getting sick? Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Poison? You mean the stuff inside the barrel is poison? Yep. And that barrel was buried in our garden. No wonder so many kids have been getting sick. But how did it get there? I have no idea, but I do know one thing. We have to find out. This stuff isn't just poisoning our garden. It's poisoning us. that these barrels were dumped long before the garden existed. But, but why? You see, after these chemicals have served their useful purpose, they're really dangerous to people. There are some that can be cleaned up and used again for something good. Like recycling. Exactly, but that costs money, and some people would rather dump than pay. Come on, everyone, let's go. It's dangerous. Yeah. Hey, guys! <laughs> Down, it might be close. L K. Twenty-five, twenty-five. Please, kids, you have to leave. It's for your own safety. Uh, this is crazy. Why can't we just call somebody to get rid of the barrels? The government usually takes care of getting rid of toxic waste. Toxic waste? Poisonous garbage. That's what's in these barrels. I'm going to call the parks department as soon as I clear everyone out of here. Hey, people! We can call the parks department. Yeah, let's go. Well, the Parks Department said I should call the Department of Human Resources. People always talk about how the world needs to change, but not when it's their life, they've got to rearrange. To knock wood for the kids in the hood who take up the slack, leading the pack on the right track. Hi, uh, my name is... They put me on hold. It's time for a change. Things just can't stay the same. Who should I call? Life is more than a game. Yo, it's time for a change. Check it. Hi, my name is Rob. Hi, my name is... Hi, 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 my name is... The Board of Health can't still be busy. You've called ten times. What does EPD stand for? Thanks. 
Here goes nothing. Environmental Protection Division, Officer Cole speaking. Hi, my name is Rob Baker. There are barrels of poison in our community garden, and we want them removed. Do you know what kind of poison it is? What kind of poison? I'm not sure, but uh, the, the barrels, they say, warning, hazardous substance. And then there's this word, T-E-T-R-A-C-H-L-O-R-O-E-T-H-Y. That could be tetrachloroethylene. Tetrachloroethylene? What is that? It's a chemical used for cleaning. Hold on a second, Rob, okay? I'll be right back. She's checking. Who is it? It's Sally. Uh, hi. Are the kids here? We have to call. Oh, they've got it under control. Yeah, the barrels are leaking. An orangey color. With this weird smell. An orangey color with this weird smell. Well, I guess it's never too early to learn how to shake up the system. I organized my first protest rally when I was 11 years old. 11? No mm -hmm. wonder Lenny likes you so much. <laughs> Great, thanks. The Environment Protection Division is coming tomorrow to check out the garden. Oh, Yay! Yay! Oh, congratulations. You were brilliant. We'll get our garden back. Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby? What's wrong? Tina came by with my homework today. She told me the rabbits died. I'm sorry. There is some good news, though. The government is sending somebody by the garden tomorrow. I hope they get rid of those barrels fast, or everybody's gonna be in danger. Do you think I might die like the rabbits? Oh, of course not. Don't even think like that. It's gonna be fine. I'm kind of tired right now, okay, Alex? Okay. I just gotta find out more about that stuff that made Gabby sick. Are you late? I was rehearsing. With the leaping dogs? Yeah, the band. Is that why you missed school 12 times this semester? I don't know what you're talking about. This just came from your school. OK, so I was rehearsing. I had no choice. All the other guys are out of high school. You are not out of high school. If I don't go to rehearsals, I'll lose my chance. Yes, you will lose. All your chances. If you miss school, you will never get into college. I'm not going to college. As soon as I graduate from high school, I'm joining the band. Nay, you will not disgrace this family. Your mama and I left everything to come to this country. Everything. We struggle so you can live in the United States as a human being, not a dog. You don't understand. You don't even try to understand. Tune. You will go to school every day, and you will come straight home. Each one of you. Straight Hi. home. After school, you will do your homework or work in the tailor shop. That's not fair. I didn't do anything. You have not been helping enough at the shop. Environmental site. Tetrachloroethylene. See now. The librarian said it'd be in here. Ah, here it is. Tetrachloroethylene, also known as PERC, is a chemical used for dry cleaning and for cleaning metal and machinery. 
If it gets into the groundwater, it can pollute drinking water and can also kill fish and plants. Kill? Perk can cause dizziness, fainting spells, or an irregular heartbeat, leading to sudden death. Gabby's medicine. Dr. Singler. Your sister is recovering well, Alex. She'll be just fine. Yes, Dr. Singler. But it says here in this book that Perk can make you very sick, even kill you. Gabby's not going to die. She's got no trace of Perk in her body now. A person has to be near Perk for a very long time before it can do real harm. Yeah, I know, but shouldn't you run some tests or something? Trust me, Alex. Gabby's going to be just fine. You make sure she stays out of the garden. Yes, Dr. Singer, I will. Thank you. Thank you for telling me about the perk. Now I know why Gabby became sick. All right, bye. Yes! I told the doctor about perk. She said Gabby will be fine. It's like a science fiction movie. They've been at it a long time. Oh, maybe now we'll get some answers. According to our preliminary site investigation, we're pretty sure the barrels do contain perk. Then you'll get rid of the barrels. Not that simple, Rob. First, we have to test the soil and the groundwater and see how extensive the damage is. How long will that take? Well, I'd say about six months. What? what? Six what? months? <laughs> you won't believe how many sites there are like this. We have to take care of the most dangerous ones first. How much more dangerous can they be? Hey, don't look at me. I agree with them. How bad does it have to be before you do something? I understand how you feel. Most people overreact in these cases. Overreact? This garden is important to everyone in the neighborhood. Kids play here. We grow food and give to people who can't afford it. We have free concerts. My dad's band is going to play here. Look, I hear what you're saying, and we will take care of it. Meanwhile, we'll secure the area, and that should contain the danger, at least temporarily. That's it? For now. Isn't there a way to get the barrels out sooner? The only way would be to find out who dumped them here. Since the person broke the law by dumping the barrels, the law requires him or her to pay for removing them. So why don't we just find the person who did it? We will start an investigation. When? I can't give you an exact time frame, but we'll get to it. Unbelievable! It's so unfair that we have to wait six months. Yeah, and that's just to test the soil. Who knows how long it'll take after they get the barrels out? What we have to do is to put pressure on the EPD. Now, I know a representative on the city council. I'm going to call her and see if she can help to speed things along. I thought I heard voices. Hi, Bibs. Hi, everybody. Hello. How's it going? Hey, check this out. Would you get a load of this rat trap? Nine Brooklyn families call it home. Broken windows. Holes in the ceiling, which in this weather is no picnic, leaking pipes, and bugs and mice everywhere in the kitchens and hallways. The tenants complained to Mr. Bennett, and they complained to the city. The city ordered Mr. Bennett to make repairs, and he said the work was done. Great job, right? No! no. That's when the residents called in Fannie Mae Banner. Why don't we call Fannie Mae? Who is she? She does this new show here. Put ya! <laughs> when people are having trouble solving their problems, like a bad landlord or a store overcharging customers, they call Fannie Mae. Yeah, she comes with this hidden camera and embarrasses the bad guys on TV. Huh. I'm calling the TV station. I bet Fannie Mae will embarrass the EPD into cleaning up our garden fast. This is Fannie Mae Banner. Caught you, Mr. Bennett. Fannie Mae Banner, please. Yes, I'd like her to do a story on our so community. She's following in your footsteps. I hope that's a compliment. Uh huh. But what no one think? will remove the barrels. No, I didn't know that. Thank you. Fannie Mae Banner gets stories about the environment all the time. 
the only way she'll do one is if it's a scandal. You know, like an important person getting caught doing something wrong. And we have to ask Fannie Mae in writing. Ah. Oh, come on. You're not going to let a little disappointment like that stop us, are we? I mean, that would be letting the bad guys win. Yeah. Let's start our own investigation. I bet we can find the sucker who buried those barrels. <laughs> yeah. Bips, dinner time. Okay. You guys, let's meet her after school tomorrow, okay? All right. Okay. Sure. See you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Has this waste site? Tetra Cho? Oh, man. <laughs> Hazardous waste. Hey, you got it, Ghost Rider. Hazardous waste means poisonous stuff. But the rest of the sign is really impossible. Hey, get out of there. It's dangerous. What does that mean? Oh. So how are we supposed to find the person who's been dumping these barrels? Well, maybe there's something written on the barrels that'll tell us where they came from. Here's what Ghost Rider read off the barrels. What about that last line? Eco say Cal's Co. Isn't C-O short for company? Maybe that's the company that made the barrels. It's possible. I'll check the phone book. Here it is. I have a listing for an EcoSafe chemical company. I think it's time we paid EcoSafe a little visit. Who is it? Gabby! Gabby! Hi. It's the Gabster. So how are you feeling? Yeah, listen, Alex, we got to make a sign for the garden because kids are climbing over the fence, and it's dangerous, and the sign that the government put up just isn't working. She's, She's fine. fine. <laughs> Rob and I'll go to EcoSafe. EcoSafe? I'll explain later. Come on. Mom and Dad are on their way home. Get down and party. You're not funny, Twan. Get your feet off the couch. Don't tell me what to do. And I told you to call me Tony. Tony Phony. It's not your name. Tina. What? Is my tea ready yet? I will fool out. Hey, keep it down. I'm not your maid. If you want your tea, drink it at the table. And if you spill it on the couch, we'll get in trouble. We're already in trouble, in case you haven't noticed. And it's all your fault. You got Mom and Dad down on all of us. So what? They're down on anything that isn't the old way. I don't care this much about how children obeyed their parents in Vietnam. I'm an American. So are my friends. And they have to go to school and listen to what their parents say, too. It's totally different. I can't even breathe in this house. Then don't breathe. Because the more trouble you make, the worse it's going to be for Linda and me. Will you stop singing that stupid song? Here. What are you doing? I went by look. You know American tea upsets my stomach. Now, why would an American boy like you want Vietnamese tea? Whoever dumped those barrels of perk did it illegally, but it wasn't eco-safe. Then how come the barrels have your name on them? Well, we make a lot of chemicals and sell them to a lot of different companies. We're not responsible for what those companies do with them. Many of our customers recycle their used perk. Then can you tell us who you sold the barrels to? If I had the lot numbers, I could. What's a lot number? Well, when we sell in groups, we give them a lot number, like P19757. It helps keep track of what we sold and to whom. Um, wait a minute. Could these be lot numbers? 
Well, they're incomplete, but yeah, maybe. Let me check. Ah, here. Barrels of Perk, lot number K25683, sold to French garment cleaners. That's the only lot number that begins with 256, so I guess that's it. French garment cleaners? Mm -hmm. That's right near the garden. And while I was standing there trying to read the sign, these kids came by, looked at the sign, and climbed right into the garden. I had trouble reading the sign, and I know what it's about. We need to rewrite it so kids will understand it and stay out. So what are the important things they need to know? They need to know that there's poison in the garden, and it can make them very sick. I'll write it down. But how can we be sure that people will read it? How about starting with danger? Yeah, and add some exclamation points. Anything else? Yeah. Gabby. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we make two signs? <laughs> two? Yeah, one in English and one in Spanish. I know a lot of people in the neighborhood read Spanish better than English. It's time for a change. Things just can't stay the same. Life is more than a game. You know, it's time for a change. The clock is ticking. Time's running out. Don't sleep, because when you wake up, there might be nothing left. Kicking nothing but the facts straight. Four, one, one. P.O.P. somebody here. Danger. Poison in our garden is making people sick. Keep out. Peligro. Hay veneno en nuestro jardín. Está enfermando la gente. Manténganse afuera. I'll bet these signs will keep kids out of the garden. Let's put them on that fence. No. How many Frazier, Jamal Jenkins' friend? Oh, yeah, hi. Mama, wait. Do you work here? Not if you keep talking to me. I got a delivery to make. Is your boss inside? He's busy. Well, then maybe you could help us? We need to find out how this cleaners gets rid of its perk when it's used up. Why? Bowels of perk were illegally dumped in our community garden. It made a lot of people sick. And we just found out that those bowels came from here. My boss hires a private hauler to pick up the bowels and take them away. Do you know the name of the private hauler? No, I know I don't. Look, I gotta go. Wait! Mom, please! Oh, man. Like people are getting the message now. Yeah. I will a hula wa go light and wang hula wa draw and believe I home more than draw boy hula wa a wang a wang hula wa. Let's go back. Long bridge just for fun. Come on, let's go. The wind blows in the bamboo tree. Pagoda tolls, the rooster crows. Let's go back just for fun. Come on, let's go. I never heard that song like that. It was very nice. Did you really like the music, Father? Yes. It remind me of Vietnam and America at the same time. That's why Leaping Dogs wants me in the band, for the mixture. Father, I didn't really mean it when I said I wasn't going to college. I guess I was just angry. I was angry, too. You really feel so strongly about your music. Yes, I do. Can you understand that? But you must go to school. 
But what if... If the band really wants you, as you say, they will rehearse after school. Okay, let me stay in the band and I promise I won't ditch school again. Yes! Come on, ba. Gone, gone, Giselle. All right, Tina. You may spend time with your friends. But only if you keep up in the shop. Thanks, Mom. I will. I promise. Thanks, Tony. At least our sign is keeping the people out of the garden. But the barrels are still there. Hello? If you want more information on who dumped those barrels, meet me at Clinton in 4th, 10 minutes. Who is this? Just be 